to have a steady hand here, but pulled three of the pistons out. Number four, I'm going to wait till I pull the crank out so I can get a good angle on it and get it driven out of there because it has some issues. The uh, piston apparently was hitting the crank a little bit. What I'm working on now is pulling this front cover, which ends up being a real treat. And I'll show you why here in a second. But there's a few, there's a stud up here, stud down here, which is nice because it holds everything in place while you take all the bolts off. There's a pump drive off to the side with just two covers. <clears throat> That, you have to take all the bolts off because it has to be able to separate from this plate, which is on the block. And I don't know if you can see it, but right in behind that gear is at least one bolt that holds the plate on. So after removing all of the bolts around here, I was able to pry that off gently. I took my fuel filter that hung up here with lines that went down to a mechanical pump. The whole key to this operation is this little inspection cover right here and there's a there's a spring right down there that hooks on right behind that plate is a little pin that hooks onto the throttle shaft. So, I've got my screwdriver here and put a little light on it. So, right back underneath, of course, I can't get it out of, out of the way, but there's this little shaft right there and that spring hooks into the groove with this throttle linkage that hooks onto it without unhooking that you cannot get the front cover off so as far as i know now let me grab my trap So this just wiggles off up here now. So right there is all of that throttle linkage stuff. I'll set this down. So there's that little shaft thing, or uh, linkage device. And there's a rotating arm on the side, hooks to the throttle, spins things. And that all runs up into the pump and is tied into this gear system here, which would be the governor. <clears throat> so basically now hmm, not quite sure how this all works hopefully that's some type of a stud because I really don't want to have to pull all this stuff off I'm going to have to do some checking figure out how all this timing stuff works so anyway thank you for watching hope this helps